IA believes that effective evaluation of a country's educational system requires examining not only the inputs to education, but also, more importantly, the outcomes of educational provision. As IEA's core studies in mathematics, science, and reading, TIMS and PEARLS are particularly salient for educational improvement. The assessments provide valuable information on student achievement at international benchmarks to assist policymakers in identifying the relative strengths and weaknesses of their education systems. In 2011, TIMS was administered to students in 63 countries and 14 benchmarking participants, and PEARLS was administered to students in 49 countries and 9 benchmarking participants. Overall, nearly 900,000 students were assessed in TIMS and PEARLS 2011. The assessments also involved over 250,000 parents and 60,000 teachers from almost 30,000 schools worldwide. TIMS and PEARLS are huge endeavors, and all of those involved deserve tremendous credit. In particular, the teams of researchers in each of the participating countries should be congratulated for their excellent work. Both TIMS and PEARLS report results on achievement scales of 0 to 1,000. There was a great range of performance in the 2011 assessments, with most countries' achievement typically falling between 300 and 700. The TIMS fourth grade mathematics assessment included 172 items, measuring students' knowledge and understanding of number, geometric shapes and measure, and data display. At the fourth grade in mathematics, the top performing countries were Singapore, Korea, and Hong Kong, followed by Chinese Taipei and Japan. These five East Asian countries had higher achievement than all of the remaining countries, Northern Ireland, the Flemish community of Belgium, Finland, England, and the Russian Federation also performed very well. The TIMS fourth grade science assessment also included 172 items covering content in life science, physical science, and earth science. Korea and Singapore were the top performing countries in science at the fourth grade, followed by Finland, Japan, and the Russian Federation. Next came Chinese Taipei and the United States. Pearls assesses two purposes of reading, literary and informational, that account for most reading done by students in and out of school. Performance on Pearls represents the gold standard internationally for reading comprehension at the fourth grade. Students with high performance in Pearls can read, comprehend, and interpret relatively complex information in stories and articles of around 800 words. In Pearls 2011, at the fourth grade in reading, the four top performing countries were Hong Kong, the Russian Federation, Finland, and Singapore. Northern Ireland, the United States, Denmark, Croatia, and Chinese Taipei also had higher achievement than the majority of other participants. The TIMS 2011 eighth grade mathematics assessment had more than 200 items measuring students' understanding of number, algebra, geometry, and data and chance. At the eighth grade, East Asian countries continue to lead the world in mathematics achievement. Korea, Singapore, and Chinese Taipei had the highest achievement, followed by Hong Kong and Japan. There was a substantial gap in achievement between the five East Asian countries and the next highest performing countries, including the Russian Federation, Israel, Finland, the United States, and England, for example. The gap in average achievement between Korea and England is more than 100 points. The TIMS science assessment at the 8th grade comprised more than 200 items in biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. Singapore had the highest achievement in science at the 8th grade, followed by Chinese Taipei 
Korea, and Japan. Finland, Slovenia, the Russian Federation, Hong Kong, and England also performed well. Both Thames and Pearls report achievement at four international benchmarks, or four points on the Thames and Pearl scales. 625 marks the advanced international benchmark, 550 marks the high benchmark, 475 marks the intermediate benchmark, and 400 marks the low international benchmark. To interpret the achievement results, Tims and Pearls describe what performance at each of the four benchmarks means in terms of what students know and can do in mathematics, science, and reading. For example, at the fourth grade in mathematics and science, students reaching the highest level, the advanced international benchmark, could apply understanding of relatively complex mathematical situations and scientific processes and explain their reasoning. In mathematics at the fourth grade, students in the East Asian countries had the largest percentages of students reaching the TIMSS international benchmarks, with gaps between these countries and all others at the advanced and high levels. Singapore, for example, had 43% of their students reach the advanced international benchmark, followed by Korea, Hong Kong, Chinese Taipei, and Japan, with from 39 to 30%. The next highest country was Northern Ireland, with 24% reaching the advanced level. In addition, from 80 to 70% of students in these five countries also attained the high benchmark. The results at the benchmarks in science at the fourth grade were similar to mathematics. The two countries with the highest average science achievement, Singapore and Korea, also were the countries with the largest percentages of students reaching the TIMSS Advanced International Benchmark, with 33 and 29 percent respectively, followed by Finland with 20 percent, and then the Russian Federation, Chinese Taipei, the United States, and Japan, each with between 16 and 14 percent. Students reaching the highest level, the Pearls Advanced Benchmark, were excellent readers for being only in the fourth grade. They could comprehend and integrate ideas and information across texts to provide reasons and explanations. Among the top performing countries in Pearls, Singapore had the largest percentage of students reaching the advanced benchmark, 24%, followed by the Russian Federation, Northern Ireland, Finland, England, and Hong Kong, with between 18 and 19%. Impressively, the majority of the Pearl's 2011 countries were able to educate 95% of their fourth grade students to a basic level, that is, reach the Pearl's low international benchmark. Six countries had essentially all of their fourth grade students reading at that level, led by the Netherlands with 100%, the Russian Federation, Finland, Hong Kong, Denmark, and Croatia. In terms of the eighth grade, students reaching the advanced benchmark in mathematics could reason mathematically, draw conclusions, make generalizations, and solve linear equations. In science, they communicate an understanding of complex and abstract concepts. To an even greater degree than at the fourth grade, in eighth grade mathematics, the same five East Asian countries had by far the largest percentages of students reaching the advanced international benchmark. Chinese Taipei, Singapore, and Korea led with nearly half followed by Hong Kong with about one-third, and Japan with over one-fourth. The country with the next highest percentage of students achieving this level was the Russian Federation with 14 percent. In science, Singapore by far had the largest percentage of students reaching the advanced benchmark, with 40 percent, followed by three other East Asian countries, Chinese Taipei, Korea, and Japan, with between 24 and 18 percent. The Russian Federation again was the country with the next highest percentage of students achieving this level, with 14 percent. Looking at both student achievement overall and the percentages of students reaching the highest benchmarks, the dominance of the East Asian countries truly is quite remarkable, especially in mathematics. Because Singapore was the only country a top performer in all five assessments, we have asked Ho Peng, Singapore's Director General of Education, to reflect on this remarkable achievement. Ho Peng, Singapore has raised substantial numbers of students to impressively high levels of performance. What do you see as major contributors to Singapore's success? Well, we think that the improvements are due to a few key factors, notably a strong and well-designed curriculum. We review the curriculum on average once every six years. 
And so I think this is something that's important because with every curriculum review, in fact, we provide professional learning for our teachers. The second factor is really about the uh, teachers that we have in the system. By and large, I believe that our teachers are committed and, in fact, all of them have a hunger for professional learning. The third factor really would be about enlightened and progressive school leaders who place an emphasis on instructional leadership within their own schools. And the last but not least factor would be supportive homes and parents. At the primary grades, countries have the goal of educating all students. However, raising all students to basic levels of literacy and numeracy is challenging. The Netherlands had 100% of their fourth graded students reaching the basic level in Pearl's reading and 99% in Tim's mathematics and science. Mr. Jos de Kroon, policy coordinator for reading and mathematics primary education in the Dutch Ministry of Education, Directorate Primary Education, reflects on his country's landmark accomplishment of ensuring that essentially all fourth grade students reach at least a basic level. The educational ambition in the Netherlands is very high and the government is striving to be in the top five of the world. It's a huge investment. We are investing on that for, uh, I think, uh, uh, at least four or six years already. And I think it's been, well, hundreds of millions of euros. Uh, we are looking at a, a kind of risk calculation that children from uh, families who are in a disadvantaged position are getting more attention from nurseries, from early childhood institutions and all that to, to see how the development is going on. The teachers put a lot of effort in the pupils who are underachieving. And it's a kind of cultural thing that Dutch teachers are triggered by a few pupils who can't follow the program. And in that case, we did a lot of special program for disadvantaged pupils, like efficient uh, organization of pre-teaching and after-teaching. Teachers have been trained to, to organize three or more levels of performance in the, in the groups. We put a lot of effort in the early identification of disadvantaged pupils with health centers and nurseries, but also the teachers at their primary education school, because it, it's, it often takes a few years to come on the, at the same level as the, the other pupils. And we have a support program for disadvantaged pupils at preschool age already, which involves also a combination with parents to help them to help their children and all that. This concludes the presentation of the 2011 TIMS and PEARLS Achievement Results. The other three presentations address trends in TIMS and PEARLS Achievement, the importance of an early start in education, and school factors for academic success.